Right, here we come to part two of the trip. Start at Patricroft, work our way up, crossing over several lines before finally making it to Radcliffe. The section between here, this is Monton Lane, and the Patricroft has all been destroyed. It's all been strategically housed. As you can see here, this is the building and this is the route. I just finally picked it up again. And so the trail commences. Let's go on part two. So near the town yet so peaceful. This looks like a nice pleasant walk. Bring it on. Our first railway clue of the trip. Other side. Hey, just about squeeze through there. Nice. And that's where we're heading towards. Pendlebury. So I like to see a nice replacement footbridge. Oh, this is very untreated road. This is railroad. Look at it, it's a mess. The jungle. Oh my goodness. Luckily sat now to helping me by push them in the right direction but there's paths everywhere oh dear make sure you're well prepared if you're going to walk this don't worry mother nature getting in the way here big trees no railways looks a bit smoother on this side oh. see it is a bit more of a trail here not much sign of railway so unfortunately but can you hear East Lanks coming up this is East Lanx Road and the railway line that went underneath. Yep, not a lot of clues there. As you can see, it's been seriously filled in. So I'm sure there's some lay railway structure under there, but not for us to see today. And there is the track, literally a tiny little path. I thought we just walked through. And that's where we're heading. Right, this is leading up to the Clifton Tunnel, the one that was filled in. Right, this is from the south side. I just say it's been mega, 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 mega landfill. You haven't got a clue there used to be a railway ditch here. You haven't got a clue there used to be a tunnel here. But this is where the tunnel was that went underneath. And we won't see again now till after Pendlebury Railway Station. Well, here's a gap in between some houses on a street called Temple Drive. I'll show you some images now of what happened. Basically, the bridge collapsed, sorry, the tunnel collapsed. These poor houses disappeared. And because of that, they shut the tunnel and never reopened it again. Right, uh, before we get back on the line, uh, obviously we crossed another line where there used to be a station. Pendlebury Railway Station. Not in the best conditions at the moment. I don't need to tell you where the station was, do I? Wow! Found it! This is the northern portal of the tunnel. Can you see all the brickwork? Wow, that is amazing. I did not think this existed. Oh, oh yes. Been through hell and backwards. But luckily GPS helped us out. And looks like somebody's already been doing a bit of digging here. This looks excellent. This is all from the front of the tunnel. So we're back on track. Wow, this is an amazing find. And that is where we're going. The railway line. Bring it on. Not the most picturesque of routes, but at least it is passable compared to that hell we've just been to. That's where the tunnel was, if it was still open. You'd see straight into it now. Yep, 
this used to be the site of the colliery. This is where the colliery used to be. We add a few lines to it. Doesn't look too busy now. More or less a pathway at the side of a fence, no real signs of railway activity. Sounds like we're pretty close to Clifton. Right, we're slowly arcing round now, making our way into uh, Clifton Junction. And I just noticed this odd brickwork on the side. This looked like it may have gone up to something that went over knee over. I don't know. Interesting though. Bit of railway still in situ. Hmm. Can you see them? Plenty of sleepers still in situ. Coming up to the junction, very, very close to the junction. I think this might have been a yard or something, you know, maybe for the colliery or whatever. But plenty of space for potential sidings. Yeah, lovely. After all that hell we've just been through. Yeah, a bit further on. Still, there's loads of it. All over the place. This is a massive, massive, massive yard. Look at it, it's loads of it, everywhere. Right, those last few shots you've been looking at were sidings that were on the left hand side. This is the actual track itself. Nice and flat-ish. Not the easiest of routes to walk, I'm afraid. Few and far between railway relics lying around, waiting to be picked. Super overgrown. Haven't got a clue where it is. And this is the line. Yep, this is where the line goes over, very close to Clifton Junction. Can you see the railway line on the side there? That's what it's going to go under. And it's going straight there, through them trees, underneath the railway. See there, hopefully. See where the old brickwork was? This was the bridge that went over from where that, uh, that chaos was. This would lead onto the station underpass. Here she is. This is approaching Clifton Junction from that farm. Yeah, this went underneath here. Oh dear, not in the best of conditions. That's where the line went in. That's where it followed. This at the side of the station looks like it was a walkway that the passengers used. Looks too small to be a, a railway passage. And they're uh, looking directly across. You can see where the metal girder is, you know, where it went underneath. So plenty of clues of the extended station that was uh, shortened. I should say it went all the way up to where that lampposty kind of thing is. This is the underpass that originally went under 
Clifton Junction. That last shot you saw was Clifton Station. The junction was just a bit further down. This is where the railway, the Clifton line, came underneath and went along that track bed there. Oh, there's loads of these everywhere. There must be a signal box nearby. Right, so like you say, there's the underpass. From the underpass, the line went from a single line and split to a double line around here. I am also looking at the site of the signal box. There's no sign of it at all here, at all. Totally demolished. I wouldn't have thought there was a box here. So that is the route we'll eventually be taking. I'm now going to go to the top of the valley here to see if there's any more signs of Clifton Junction Station. This, the top level, that joined the two lines together. And that is the original station platforms. Hmm, interesting sign over there. Should we go and see what's on it? Hmm. So there it is, the branch that led on to two lines from Clifton Junction first of the stations on this line as near as we were allowed you can see the border fence just slightly ahead and there are one or two uh, platform edges still intact Ish. here we are up on the summit very long platform, very long platform indeed. Around there is when two lines will merge. E bargum. Bit more relics, a few more clues. Hmm. Very close to the neck. Just wondering what this is. Another interesting find here. Uh, is it passage that went under somewhere? Let's have a look. Ah well, road to nowhere. I believe this went to, um, may have gone to the old hall. If you ever want to trace it, there's your reference number. And there is a hole on the other side just. Wow, like I say, this is the line now. I've walked a couple of hundred yards and it's just dense, dense foliage. Hasn't been walked in years. That's what I've just walked through. And this is what I'm just walking up to. Oh dear. This is where the line finishes. Taken out. I'll probably start the ride up. Ah, shame. So there's the main line going up. The line over there is the one coming in from Clifton. And you join up together on here to go over the viaduct, to go over the Clifton viaduct. Well, from that last shot, it's a big factory in the way, a big ex bleach works, I believe. And unfortunately, the guy won't let us through, and there's no access to it anyway. So I've had to come all the way round. Anyway, I've just made my way back. So after the factory, you then get this approach, elevated approach, that's going to lead us up to the 15 arches. Let's go and see if we can find any clues there, mate. As you can see ahead, a nice fence there trying to stop us going on to the 15 arches. Let's see if there's any holes. There's a big stump. This is the arches to follow. Well, that was lucky. There was a hole. Lucky I didn't have any pork pies, though. It was only a small hole. But uh, let's give you a nice panoramic shot of what we're up to. 
Right, there used to be a bleach works down there that used to have some sidings to it. And it used to go all the way up there. If you see the oldish type stations and the ones that have been smashed up, that's the old bleach works. Even them pipes may give it away. And this is where we're heading. Pretty dense but well worth it, taking into consideration the view. Not sure what this is, maybe drainage or something. Uh, so we come to a nice clearing. I'm sure some yokels have been using this for camping or otherwise. And why not, eh? Beautiful location. I think this was a place where there used to be a signal post. Nicely cut out. That's the site of the disused canal. That's the Bury Bolton Manchester Canal that is not in use. There she is in all her beauty. Here we are a bit further on. And you know it's in between the arches that brick them up. Wonder if those arches were there originally and these have been put in for strength reasons. We're definitely different style bricks. Oh, she's been up a sheer hill. All to show you this lovely shot. Close up on them brickwork. And that is the viaduct in all its beauty. Let's see what's on the top, eh, mate? Oh my god. That cold it's in here. Great escape. Full of barbed wire and everything, they certainly don't want you walking around here. Ow! Look at it, scattered everywhere. Oh, someone's even left me a bike. Might use that to get the rest of the way. Wow. Well, here we have it. The end of the viaduct. And that's the railway route we'll be taking. Eee, plenty of clues around if you look. Pretty hard to make out, but on this side, the side going towards Bury, there's a 9 and a 0. 90. 9. 0. Well, that's where we just come from. This is where the transport network meets Rail Crosses Road, the M60, XM62. So here we are on the other side. This is the side of the station. Now the M60 has been extended, so the station may be around here rather than a bit further up. There doesn't seem to be any clues. Other than a big mound of soil, but that's most probably excavation work when they dug out for the M60. I'll have a quick go around, see if I can find anything for you. Yeah, this is definitely the site of the station, but there's no signs of it at all, I'm afraid. Not a single clue. Molyneux Brow, this was called. No even railway bricks or anything. Ah well. Oh dear, ignore that last statement, Alan. Here's your clues. Yes. Some nice Accrington bricks. Oh, definitely, yes, 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 railways. All been stacked up on the hill, right at the very top. Yes, definitely some on this side. Well done, Alan, well found. It's the border of the railway line. See there, we've got plenty of room to shove the platforms in and everything. Wow, we found it, we found the station, yippee! 
Let's go on. Here's another gradient marker. It's just like that previous station. That's that marker. That's where we're heading. I wonder why that's 20. Definitely railway fight. I don't know what it is, but it looks good. Oh, don't get me wrong, it's a lovely walk. With regards to railway finds, it's been a blank. It's been at least a mile or so up the road, and we will be coming up to Ringley Road Railway Station soon. I believe there is a platform. I can say a lovely walk. Lovely, lovely walk. But boring as regards railways. Not a clue in sight, I'm afraid. Oh, weather's on our side at least. Another half a mile, another update. No railway, just beautiful countryside. There are a few clues that this was a railway line, as you can see from the sleepers there. And like you say, a lot of the border fence is still in situ. With regards to the main line itself, it's been well cleared. This line has been excavated by the Northwest Water Authority. So I expect they've just destroyed whatever little evidence there was available. Well, here's a strange find. Consolation. Bluebell. Snowdrop. Rosemary. Obviously name of flowers. Don't think it's railway. Yeah, there's a lot of these things lying around now. Very picturesque even. Bring back the railways. A signal stump, a modern signal stump maybe. This is on the um, very side. There's a lot of these cut down telegraph poles. And there's one still in situ. Well, that footpath suddenly become a mud path, and there's a big pond in the way. Oh dear! Let's keep going. Oh, what a shame! Isn't a track bed anymore? It's a river bed. Saddleworth all over again. Let's see where it comes out. Ripley Road. Wow, that's a fantastic infrastructure. Bring back the railways. Hopefully there's a station just ahead here. As promised, Ripley Road Station. One side of it's intact anyway. Got some nice brickwork at the back. It was a route that went up, obviously. That went up that pathway to the main road. Beautifully preserved. Platform. No signs of any buildings. Not sure if this was purpose built or whether it was part of the station. It certainly looks very railway fied. There she is. Complete. Nice find. On the other side it is very seriously filled in, but if you can just see those moss laden bricks in the background, that's a sign of where the other platform used to be. Well, it basically it looks like they've just cleared the land and put it over where the platform was, just retaining one of them. Well that's where the station is, just coming round the corner now came across this baby, an old stone structure. It originally had a bridge that's been taken out. This is very close to the site of where the colliery was. The colliery was on this side. 
just up on the hill there. Didn't think there'd be any clues left, but maybe there is. Here she is from the other side. That is a very big, big access. It said there was certainly a pathway over there that went to the colliery. Uh, apparently there was a power station on this side, a bit further down. You know, like a connection between the two. See if we can find any more clues. This was the route in the area where the colliery was. Not a lot here other than the foliage. Well dug away. Looks like there's another infrastructure a bit further ahead. That might be a sign of previous workings. Can you see the, uh, the old metal ore coming through? Yep. Yeah. Definitely a sign of a contaminant coming up from the pit. What the hell is that? No idea. Oh, that's weird. Don't know what that is. Just stood in the middle of the road. See, the colliery was over there. This is the main railway line. And the power station is just coming into view now. That's where the power station was. No need to ask where that power station used to be. Apparently there's a couple of lines feeding that. Back on track. Apparently some sidings on this side. That's why it's a bit wider than usual. That's the edge of the colliery. Before it panned out. The colliery was around there. All on this side was sidings. Sidings, sidings, sidings. Outward sidings. Here's the start of the sidings. Here we are, going to Radcliffe. That's where we just come from. Wide, line's pretty wide at this point. Coming up to where we're going to go over the river. Very shortly. Here we are on the viaduct, going over the river. Very close to the centre now of Radcliffe. Yeah, here's the viaduct we've just been over. You can see very ornate. Make sure I can get your side angle. Here she is in all her beauty. Absolutely beautiful wrought iron viaduct going over the river. Well done. Right, that's where we just come off the viaduct. That is where we're heading. Basically, no real signs of the railway. There may be a few clues, but around here is where the station was. It's a station that's been taken out due to the landfill and everything else. So this is a bit further on. The line came over here and made its way over there, following the route of this road. This road is the route that the railway took. Well, it's road meets rail again. Uh, this was the railway line. It made into a roadway. Goes right up this road at the side of that church. That is our nice landmark. Let's go and see if there's anything near the church. So that's where the railway went. Now the road. We're now back on track. Not far now to Radcliffe Station. Looking back. Looking forward. The triangle is just beyond them houses. This is the last obstacle in our way. Right, so this is where the three lines met. We've got the one line coming in, the Radcliffe line, that's behind them houses. Follows the edge of this uh, fencing and went straight ahead and joined the Bury line. Now just at the edge of this fencing, there was also a triangle. A triangle that came off the Bury line from the Manchester side. 
and went on to Bolton by the avoiding line that is so from the edge of the trees can you see where that fence is right in the background behind that netting yeah that is where it joins the line it curved round following the tree line up to that bridge over there right so I'll come right in that corner now can you see the main line this is where it joined on and that's where it curved round and there she is the bridge it went over and onto Little Darcy and um, Bolton. Yep. So we came along that line, bonk, 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 where all them trees are, follow the tree line round. So this is the main line to Bolton. Apparently there was two bridges that went to the very avoiding line sorry the Bolton avoiding line it was this one that came off the Manchester Spur yeah there was a footbridge which you can see ahead and just behind it you can see the other stone bridge that's a spur that came off from the Bury side that went onto the avoiding line by a Radcliffe the two lines joined together about 200 yards down the road. This empty field was once a central hub of railway activity in the Radcliffe area. Here we will hopefully see a nice aerial shot of what it used to look in its heydays. Just look at it now. See you next time, folks.